The second parliamentary summit of the Crimean platform started in Prague, Czech Republic. The Ukrainian delegation is represented by the Speaker of the Parliament of Ukraine, Ruslan Stefanchuk. Russian aggression began with the seizure of Crimea and must be completed with the liberation of the entire territory of Ukraine, including Crimea. Ruslan Stefanchuk, chairman of the Verkhovna Rada of Ukraine, at the second parliamentary summit of the Crimea platform. The Crimean platform is an initiative of Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky that was established almost on the eve of the full-scale Russian invasion in the summer of 2021. This year about 70 representatives of national parliaments and parliamentary assemblies of international organization took part in the work of the platform. When the war returned to the European continent, some of us remembered the quote that history does not repeat itself, but our experience, the Czech experience, says that if you submit to the dictator and do not fight them, then the aggressor will take over you, will take over your entire country and their aggression will become even greater. We know these tendencies well here in the Czech Republic. In this case, we remember our experience with Adolf Hitler. Miłosz Wisterczyl, president of the Czech Senate at the second parliamentary summit of the Crimea platform. When the Crimean platform was established, its ambitious goal, the occupation of the Crimean Peninsula, was perceived by many international partners of Ukraine as an unreal goal. But now its agenda, which is based on the Ukrainian peace formula, finds full support from Ukraine allies. Especially now, when Ukraine has managed to push back the Russian fleet in the western part of the Black Sea and Crimean Peninsula and push it out of the region. For many in the world, Crimea was an argument that the complete deoccupation of our territory was supposedly unattainable. Russian control over the Black Sea and the presence of the occupying fleet created the illusion that Russia's dominance in the Black Sea was supposedly insurmountable. In addition, due to the deliberate settlement of Crimea by hundreds of thousands of Russian citizens and the large-scale repression by the occupiers against all forms of freedom and resistance, one could get the impression that Crimea was supposedly conquered. And now the illusions are melting. Vitaly Sizov, Ruslan Kuzgov from Brussels for UITV channel.